Hello children it's a brand new day we are learning about b attitudes today it's fourth lesson isn't it i know you will be so eager to know what's the memory verse of the day oh i can hear children are getting ready for the memory verse activity i'm also going there sit back and relax children do you know our bible speaks about crown quite lot of time yes right yes. today i'm going to speak about crown of righteousness about crown of righteousness very good and today's bible verse is from matthew 5 6 and it says blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness okay we are going to have fun with this memory verse okay right uh, i am going to select some of you as king some of you as king. Yeah. king and if i select you as a king then you can order us to do something okay we will obey the king isn't it we should obey yeah. king and when king orders we will obey to the king's order and we will do whatever he says Okay, okay, now I'm going to select uh, Kishore as king. Okay, Kishore, king, come on, give uh, give applause, claps for that. Okay, very good. Okay, king, order us. King, order. Now give your head. Now give your head. Okay, right. Ah, uh, bless the Lord who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be. Matthew 5:6 Very good. Mm. I am going to select the next king. Okay. Next king uh, uh, Bablu, the next king. Mm. Okay. Let's let's see what the next king orders us to do. Mm. King Goddess, shake your body. Shake oh, our body. Okay. Uh, Bless all those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew five six. Okay, that's good. One. Okay, the next king. I'm going to select you as the next king. Okay. So you are going to give us order. Kings. Ha ha! What a wonderful activity, isn't it? Oh wow! Children enjoyed learning the memory verse. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I too liked it. Hmm. Where is the honey bee? Honey bee is missing. Wherever I am, honey bee comes in search of me. But today he did not come. Let me go and search him. Wednesday lied about homework. Yeah, I forgot to do my homework, so I said my teacher that I'm sick. Thursday took candy. Well, my friends had a lot of candy. They did not even give me one, so I took one. Oh. Okay. Friday jealous of my brother. My brother had a birthday party and he got lots of toys. I really really want them. So I got so jealous about it. Hmm. Saturday went to your friend's house. My parents always wanted me to ask permission whenever I go out. They think I'm a child still. So to prove that I'm not a child still, I went out without asking permission to my parents. Hannah, you are not a failure. See, Bible in Romans 3:23 it says all our sin and fall sort of glory. Even I really want to talk to you about uh, temptation. We several times take many decisions, right? But uh, we are tempted towards that, right? I just want to show you one small object lesson how temptation uh, disturbs our righteousness, right? See, we all have thirst for righteousness, but what happens is. I'm going to show you one example, right? See, uh, when I burnt the paper and dropped it inside this bottle, the oxygen level which is inside the bottle gets burnt up because of the fire that I lit it. Now, see, imagine this is you, and what happens is you you really want to uh, get rid of all the temptations but because of something that we keep on doing we are used to that what happens we we get stuck to that habit we get stuck to that uh, habits so that it doesn't leave us see this it is stuck right all your habits are stuck to that isn't it now uh, there is no way to escape from that, right? But you you really have thirst to be righteous, okay? If if it is so, then if you come to the Lord, Lord can help you. It seems there is no way that we can, we can release from that, right? There is no way to get uh, released from these temptations. But when you come to Jesus and try to 
uh, imitate Jesus, live like Jesus, then Jesus makes a way, right? See, imagine this is the, right? It seems there is no way to escape, right? But Jesus makes a way, see? Then you are released. You are no more to that habits. You are no more tempted. You are released and you can be, uh, you can live righteous, right? Try it, right? Don't get stuck up with, your, with anything that you keep on doing which you do not want to. We experience the same temptation as Jesus did. Jesus was tempted by food. We are tempted to eat too much, to eat what we aren't supposed to eat and to eat when we aren't supposed to eat it. Can you think of the time when you were tempted by food? Jesus was tempted to prove his worth. We are also tempted to prove that we are worthy of praise or that we are better than or just as good as someone else. Jesus was tempted by power. Have we ever been tempted by power? For example, maybe you wanted to be first in line so you could be the leader and you were tempted to punish and show you show you a way to the front of the line. How did Jesus keep from doing wrong when he was tempted? He knew who he was. He knew he had a purpose that he was sent to save the world. He knew the scriptures. He knew God's word and how to apply them to his life. See, when you have the thirst for righteousness, Bible says, Lord will give you the crown of righteousness. Isn't it? So Hannah, do you like to get the crown of righteousness? Yeah. Then you have a surprise. Mm. See, this I just give you just to make you think for a crown of righteousness. Okay, right? I, I think you had answer for some confusion that you had and you are no more a failure child. Okay? okay. Good to see you, Hannah. Bye-bye. That's a wonderful lesson we learned it today. I loved it, children. Hope you too loved it. I'm so glad that I met you this week. Hope we'll see you next week. Okay. I will wait till next week to see you all. Bye-bye, children.